Hello, I'm Donna, and this is my YouTube channel. I'm doing a YouTube live today. I've been doing Facebook lives for many years, and Facebook's got us kind of messed up. So we are trying to do some of our everyday lives um, that we normally do, and we do them like twice a week. And on my Donna on the Road at Hotmail.com um, is my email. <laughs> So that's not what we are. The Facebook is, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> Michelle needs to put the Facebook up. Somebody knows my Facebook. Um, um, we have the Donna Dewberry official. That's what it is. Sorry. Sorry, I'm losing it. Donna Dewberry's with an S, official, because lots of people have my, my um, sites out there. So. It's Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke group. We'd love for you to join our Facebook group and see all the wonderful art and show your practicing that you do. I have right here on YouTube, I have Relax and Paints on Wednesdays, put up new content then. And on Fridays, I do practice strokes, which I give you homework to work on for the week. And if there's anything you see me painting and you want to know, how does she do that leaf or how does she make that flower or how does she stencil? I want you to know that you can go to practice stroke and between those um, videos and some other videos on there, we have over 600 for you to pick through. So you can binge most watched um, videos or practice strokes because people are wanting to learn one stroke. And so we got some people out there. Hello, Cindy from Michigan. Um, I'm at work and I will have, oh, that's Denise. No, Francis. Hello, hello. And Joy and Pia um, from Finland. Yay. Kat, don't you love it? Social media make, makes it so you can talk to people all over the world. I'm going to be painting some today, showing you a demonstration, um, like making one of these shirts I've got on and other things. Hello, Monica and... I uh, just wanted to say I'm headed to work, so I can't stay. I'll have to watch later. Well, thank you. I appreciate you contacting and telling me that. I appreciate you guys being on. It's a Saturday. I'm going to be teaching it, too, so I can't stay on a long time. But um, I am teaching. Look what I'm teaching. And you can go check these out sometimes if you like to. We're going to do lots of butterflies and insects is one of my stroke studies. And we um, look at all the different styles and painting and how quick and easy it is with one stroke painting. So I wanted to share that with you. So before I got on, I thought I'm gonna come on here real quick and show you some things that I think that you might not know about one stroke. And also another special deal, we did really good in July on our, on our um, lives here on YouTube. So it made it possible for me to spend more time with you right here, sharing with you what we're doing. And I just want you to know that if you are a member, so I hope that you still have subscribed and that you ring the bell so that you'll know every time I come on with a live, if you want to watch and then check out by, uh, by clicking on join on my membership to check out my membership. All right, I need to slow down. <laughs> but what I wanted to share with you is that um, I have a membership on my YouTube. And if you click join, it'll tell you how it is and what you get for it. And um, you could start with $9.95 and get a video each week that you can paint along with me. And so I was excited to share that with you. It's more detailed and longer than my um, relax and paints that I have on Wednesdays. All right, so hello, Miss Holly and Kathy Jane. Hello, hello, and Catherine, Miss Cat. Um, I had opportunities at my Orlando convention last week to have hugs and meet people that I have that found me on YouTube and people I have had painting with me for years that we didn't get to actually ever meet. So that was kind of pretty exciting for me. Um, but if you're out there and you've never watched One Stroke Painting before, I'm a mother of seven children and I taught myself how to paint at the dining room table. 
and I was just wanting to paint so bad. I would look at pictures and I figured out, oh, I know how they did this. They put all the paint together on one flat brush and you could get blending, shading and highlighting at one time. Hello, Miss Susie. You are from the beginning way back when. This is nice to see your name pop up. Um, so I painted on walls. I decorated homes here in Florida and I um, got found by a paint company and the rest is history. I've traveled all over the world and taught people how to paint and certified people to be teachers. So if you've ever wanted to be an artist and you would love to make an income, I teach you how to teach. And so you can then go do painting parties. You can teach online. I teach you all kinds of avenues for you to have a niche for yourself. A lot of people just teach seniors and we have many that teach children and they specialize in that. And, um, many that do face painting. There's all kinds of avenues that you can get into to do one stroke painting. But before I show you the discount, I just want you to know that um, right here, you're going to see, did I do this backwards? I did this backwards. All right. So I'm going to switch it. Sorry. I should have left it alone. It was um, switched and oh no, it's supposed to be backwards for me, but you guys can see it right. Is that right? Do I have it right before I leave? All right. Can y'all see this YT stencil? Is it straight for you? Uh, looking good. Yes, it's straight. Okay, then I'm sorry. I get confused. I've been trying to figure out this new program that we have. All right, it's right. All right, so I'm going to teach you some stencils, which are going to be like this shirt I've got on, and how fast and quick it is. You're going to love it. Um, so that's the discount that you can go to my website, which is one stroke, all spilled out, one stroke.com. All right. So we have a couple of weeks of it on for you to get that discount. And if I show you anything else and you don't know how to get it and you don't see it on the site or you having a hard time with it, go to Donna on the road. Does that tell you something about my life? Donna on the road at hotmail.com. So I just wanted to put that up so you can go back and track it and see it um, if you want to know more. So for $29.95, I'm going to show you a packet that's hot off the press. We're finishing it this week and you can order it on my Facebook site, uh, Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group. And you can go there and put your email under the pictures that you might want. And, or also to find out how many of you live near Tennessee, somewhere near Tennessee, and would love to come paint with me for a few days. I have that coming up in November. So you can go check it out on my Facebook group or you can check it out on our website. Um, so we just got through with our convention here. We had all together, we had about 90 people there. And we all had a great time together. So this is what I want you to see. This is the first of the four pictures in my packet. But this is also one that I taught on Relax and Paint. So you can go watch it, get the packet, do the step-by-steps with me. And for $29.95, you're going to get all the step-by-steps, the pictures, the patterns, and all your supply lists for these four paintings. All right. So see how the light's going through the wave? These are all basic paintings. They're not difficult. I also have two I like that go next to each other with each other. So this one does some fancy clouds in there. And some. any of you who were getting my mop brush special that I had, uh, there's two mop brushes and two small rig brushes um, for $32.95. That's also something you can email me. But this is um, all done with the mop. And then look at those, the seagrass and the picket fence. And the fourth one, this is a super deal because we never put four. I might put this in a packet. All right. But instead, I put all four of these. Me being in Florida, I want you to see how to do all the different seagulls, different patterns and all. And so that's like a fun little set. It's a packet. They come in a plastic sleeve that you can practice on top of. And all the work, the step-by-step-by-steps and a pattern sheet are in there. Okay, so 
Hello, hello, Holly. My daughter lives in Tennessee and I'm coming to this one. Woo, that's great. Uh, I'm coming finally. Thank you, Holly. I can't believe I'm going to actually get a hug. Um, next week is great. Hope your day and this next week is great. Thank you, Nan. I appreciate that. All right. So thank you, Miss Doris. It's nice to have you on. So uh, before I start painting, I want to show you a couple of other things. Um, let me grab it through right over here. Um, I also, in November, so you can be looking for this, I do a workshop where I travel around the country. And this is 2023 workshop and each day we do a different project so you could do all three days and get a big discount and get the paints and supplies mailed to you or you could just do one day and you still get the pictures sent to you and the supply list but you get a better deal um, if you do all three and so it's 99 dollars for the day and this is one of the days all right. And I teach you, even if you've just never painted, we start together and paint each one. This is the second one, is, which is a landscape. This is in November. So be checking it out. Um, and I don't have my calendar in here with me, but you can you have to go to the website to see them anyway. All right. And this I want you to see this has pace. I teach you how to do that. Uh, you're welcome. 10 years now since learning one stroke, I do wine glasses. That's a great way to make money. I've got news for you. I've done so many wine glasses and different kinds of glasses for the shows. Now, I'm going to be showing you some stencils, and this is my book stencils. They all line up for you in the right dimension and everything. And I don't have a bunch of samples of what we did do at our convention, but I, just to let you know, our convention packets where each one of the projects, like here's one of the projects, each one of the projects that we did has a packet. I draw this wood out so that you can see how to do this. And we painted the rooster. We did this chippy look with a block. See, I take this block and I go around the edges and it looks like the, the teal aqua color is chipping. It's actually patina. It's chipping off instead of we're putting it on so it gives you that illusion all right this beautiful piece of wood and this is on donna dewberry designs donna dewberry designs.com as all my wood pieces so you ought to go check those out um and they're wholesale so sometimes you might have to buy more than one to get the wholesale price but get a friend get together and come pick them out the convention was awesome coming next year Miss Linda, thank you. You better bring Melinda with you. <laughs> All right. So this is a packet for us. This is $29.95. And those are on my Facebook uh, site where you can go. It, it tells you also about Donna on this YouTube channel. It will tell you my website, um, the Facebook site, my Patreon, any of those things that you might like to do and just get invested a little bit more. Can we buy the convention packets? Absolutely. And then we have a sale right now. Instead of $29.95, you get all of them. <laughs> I need to look it up. Uh, if you buy them all five, you get them for $130 something. I'm going to pull it up real quick. Oh, it was just there and it moved. Okay. So I, I'm glad we're just being together, right? So they're $21.95 each. And if you get all five together, it's $132.95. And then there's the bonus one, which is the elite one. So I just want to show you. All right. So that's how it looks like on my Facebook. And it shows you all the different ones. All right. So come check it out. You don't want to miss it. The convention packets are always super special. I work really hard to get step by step for you so that you can do it at home. Hello. You're from Michigan. I can't see your name. I'm sorry. Um, Pansy, I'm happy I caught you live. Well, thank you. Thank you. Available on Facebook. I'm going now. Thank you. That's where the special is. Um, so today, let me see. I don't got anything else to show you. I'm just going to start painting with you. Um, so one thing I want you to see is I've got this shirt. Okay. And I did this really quick. 
And like, I have done many shirts in 15 minutes, but I want to believe that. So I went to Walmart. These were $3 shirts. I just did this uh, yesterday after my convention. So there it is on white, got a $3 shirt on sale. This is just a big, regular, um, cheap shirt that I found, I think even at the Dollar Tree. But see, this is easier to paint than this heavy cotton. So you to get a blend is the best if you want to do fabric. I want you to see this is our convention shirt. And see that design in the middle? That's what we painted on a big piece of wood. And that's a stencil. See the music notes and see the birds? I, I love the stencil and the birds I'm going to show you. And they're all laid out so it's like a, instead of tracing a pattern really quickly you put it on and then you're you're ready to paint so i want you to see i also have excuse me my shirts on debriefashions.com just to let you know we also have the ones on springs uh, thank you all right so i'm, I'm not going to button this up i'm just going to show you I then took on the stencil and just did the two birds that are on there. And then this was one of the shirts I did where I did uh, all down on the collar and down the sides, just an all over pattern to wear at convention. And so that's from, believe it or not, get those shirts, men's shirts, that's size 17. We use it as a smock, 17 neck, and um, it's at, Goodwill, which went up quite a bit of money since I went to a Goodwill. Um, I am off the chart, excited to have finally caught your life. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> so I need to go on more often, but I want to show you some things that I can, um, on how to paint, how to make the stencils work for you. There's a 20% off sale if you put the YouTube YT stencil you on any stencils online, you can get this 20% off special right now. All right. So I want you to see that this is an all over stencil. I'm going to lay these stencils in front of me quick so I can stencil. Look, that's the bird. Can you see that? Uh, just the two little birds. You can do those or those. And I did it smaller, but these are large and small. These are custom made stencils by me. And I'm thrilled to be sharing them with you. Um, this is the all over stencil that I put that people love. You can tell I'm really good about cleaning my stencils, right? Um, so I did this right on the white canvas and I did an ombre effect. So you can see where I did really light and then I got dark. All right. So then I have bumblebees. Where are they? Be kind. I love this be kind thing. And so I love to put be kind on shirts or kindness matters. And so this is what I did. I came up with um, a stencil that does that bumblebee in two steps. Isn't that fun? So the first thing you do is put the yellow and the white wings. And then the second stencil, when you lay it on, you do all the black. And it comes in little ones. And see, I put a little one inside the sunflower. And then the kind, see, we can ombre the words. So here they are. Uh, I hope you can see this. Look, be kind. Or you could just leave this off and put a B right there. I have the hornet. And then, but I called it a big fat bumblebee. All right, humble and kind. I can say be humble. Yeah, that was the other way. And gather and be grateful. Now see, there's the side view of the bumblebee, of the small and large, small B, large B. All right, so this is one of my new ones this year. I went to Pinner's convention and we all did those. If you use the stencil, they look like you did them with regular one stroke. Absolutely, they're just like, did you see? Look at that again, it's crazy. It looks like, it doesn't look like a stencil, it looks like we painted it. And that's what people love because when I paint it by hand, it looks a lot just like that. So anyway, um, so that was one stencil, two stencils. These are called the cherry blossoms. And I just showed you the bee. This is bee kind. All right. Bee uh, birds on a branch. Most popular. Just had to order a huge shipment again because we sold out twice. All right. And the other one we sold out twice 
is the one I'm going to be doing that I'm wearing. And that is the Eiffel Tower. That's Paris. Okay, now this is one, and I'm sad. I thought I grabbed this at, at my studio, but I didn't. This is uh, jars. So I have mason jars and vases. And so you can make this larger by doing ha putting half the stencil on and slide it over and do the other half. Or you can make it that size and move this down and make it a tall jar. All right. Best, best, best stencil I have. If you go on my website, winstroke.com, you're going to see um, jars on a shelf. I've done rows of jars in like four or five seasons. Okay. So this is to get your stencil discount. It's YT for YouTube stencil. You get 20% off. So don't miss that. Anything else I'm showing you, you want to purchase, you could just email Donna on the road at hotmail.com and say, you just showed this. How do I get this? And when you do that, I will take care of it for you. All right. Now I want to show you this. I make pillows and see all the different fern and leaves. It's a um, round wreath. Wait, wait, wait. All right. I've got, I've got it right here. Okay. So we've done this on a 20 by 20 pillow. And this is a spring version. I do fall versions. So this just gives you the leaves. And then there's a butterfly. There's a dragonfly up here at the top. And there's a bubble bee. So this is a wreath. All right. That's exactly the wreath. And then I added a few more pieces from the wreath around on the stencil. All right. And then you can add stems. Some of them have stems. And this, I just put the daisies and different flowers for spring. So think about this one. I We use it a lot. I put ornaments in it. I put big round ornaments all around. Some people did traditional Christmas at conventions. Some people did um, bright pink and purples and pretty colors that they wanted. So there you are. That's that. All right. Are you seeing some things you might like to do? I'm trying to show you that if you're out there doing shows, painting, selling your wares really quick, the stencil puts it on and then you make it more. All right. So I wouldn't have never bought them, but now I'm going to get a few because let me show you how fast this makes this. All right. And I can't find my picket fence. <laughs> I had it here and I do have a picture to show you. Where is the picket fence? right here this is not the picket fence but this is a stencil that snowy cabin all right now this is just a piece of wood navy blue i stencil it all on i did green across the top and all this white and the house okay so my friend did melinda did red cabin then she put the picket fence stencil in front of it, did it red. So the picket fence is perfect. So you do it red and then she put snow on the fence and even a little wreath. So look how cool that is. They're long stencils. Let me show you one. All right. Because this is the next thing I did that I really love. And this is the clothesline. So I'm going to, I've got a couple of versions of this. All right. So there's the clothesline and this is what it looks like. So really quickly, I show you, I just did this with 30 something women. They loved it. And some of them made the basket um, a, um, a tin bucket like and full of flowers. All right. So there it is when you put it all white and you use floating medium. So see their little see through. All right. And then all from the stencil and there's flowers in a basket. All right. So this is a clothesline. And see how long they are? They're really nice. I like to put them on 10 by 20s also. And here it is when you decorate them. See, there's a wood bucket. I'm sorry, a wood bucket. And so I put, sometimes I put two posts for the clothesline, sometimes one. I put multiple clotheslines. And this is a really quick project. And I have to tell you, so many of these ladies, it was a really nice um, um, senior um, development. And they all have these big fancy houses. I was trying to figure out something that they would all put in their house. And I'm telling you, they went crazy. 
I would put that in my laundry room. But the coolest thing that they said, which if you're doing a show, I'm telling you, they will say this. They all told me the stories of my sister and I or my grandmother and I would hang our clothes out and just talk about that, which was really nice. What luck to find you on. Yeah. Hey, Diane. Um, and I'm working on that. You're working on the clothesline. It's awesome. Are you going to demonstrate with the stencils today? Yes. So don't leave. I know y'all need to leave, but I need to leave because I'm teaching soon. But I'm just going to do one quick how-to so it makes it easy for you to do this. But I want to show you one more. And this is all from the Paris stencil down. Oh, don't forget, during the holidays, you can do Easter gingham. But this is the buffalo plaid, and I did it all for the fall. And you just paint the background whatever color you want, and then you can go on top of it with this and do plaid. I mean, black, uh, licorice, black, and it will be beautiful buffalo plaid, and it's great for Christmas. So I've used it for all of those. So it's well worn. That stencil's on there. Special deal. Mark doesn't like to discount the stencils because the shipping is expensive to us, and uh, we have to. Um, put all these different my company where I'm getting uh, mine made and others. So, but listen, one little quick thing to tell you: you I mean, you might pay as much as a stencil costs with your discount if you only buy one stencil. So the deal is, we can slide multiple ones in this hard um, shipping um, envelope that we put it in, so that they, they don't bend. So listen. Um, get three and two or three of them, get your friends to order one, you two, and that will be one shipping cost for all of them. So think about that. It makes it a lot less expensive to get what you'd really like. And so I would like to share that with you. So this was Paris. All right. So it does, that's my birthday, by the way, November 6th. And so I'm showing you on canvas. Here's on paper that you can frame and see lots of these stencils will do multiple things. So I know what I showed you fabric. I'm going to show you fabric now. And I know that you might not do fabric. I showed you the bird on fabric. I don't have the whole project on fabric, but you can, I mean, of the bird that we did, but you can look at um, on my site and see it. Oh, last, this stack of books, I've stacked them like all of them on top of each other to make a stack of books. I've also, we just said at our convention where I took this and I lifted it up and did it thick and you can make it like a box uh, of jewelry box, some kind of box. You can flip them to go different directions and see, I've got small ones, larger ones, and you can see where the paper edge is and where the spine is. See the spine right there. Okay. And so let me show you. If you just came on, I, I, a lot of people have come on since I shared it. Didn't have the clothesline, had a stencil during one stroke advantage class, painted it by hand way longer. I'm getting a stencil. I know. So the thing is, I love that stencil. So I went, I'm going to get that stencil and the big fence, and you're going to love it. Okay. So if you want any of these stencils, this is the thing that you're going to do. Remember, you're going to multiple buy, so your shipping is a good price, because if you see one stencil in the shipping, you're going to go at the discount, we're giving you 20%, you're going to feel like, oh my gosh, um, that's costing too much for the stencil. So that's why I tell you to make sure that you try to find a couple that you might like, because the more you buy, the less your shipping looks, okay? Because it is less. <laughs> All right, so Donna on the road at hotmail.com, if I've shown you anything today, that you would like to buy, you can email me and I'll get the prices to you. And my husband will have the email so we can send you an invoice if you say what you would like. Now, when you're on there, you might want to get some stencil brushes. And I've got a itchy nose. Um, also, be looking for my demonstration I just, just did on practice strokes. And on practice strokes, I showed you how to use these brand new brushes. So these are smaller for little details for doing the mustaches and beards and Santas and hair and animals. And then these mops do wonderful, all natural. This one alone could cost you the money that you're paying for all four. So this is brand new, hot off the press. We just had to get a new shipment in because we sold out at convention. And these are $32.95 for all four. 
Okay, it's a four kit special. So that's why we're giving you a bigger discount. And, and there will be more money when they go online. So I just want you to know I have a shipment coming in right now. And I have this wonderful woman, um, Color My World with um, Paula McCoy, who uh, said, I can get you those brushes because she makes brushes. And those are some wonderful brushes that she has that now I have. So I'm so excited. All right. So I'm going to move this up and turn it around so you can look. Um, those are on special. So you can ask, just put that on the right email too, is that you would like the special that's going on right now for all four brushes. But go watch the video. I just did it Friday. So watch the video and it'll give you some depth of what you can use those mops and those rakes for but there's so much more so i'm going to keep using them in our classes and you will see more and i'm talking really fast <laughs> so hello melissa so i know you just were with me so you're probably tired of this i'm going to turn this upside down all right so that you can see the shirt that we're going to be doing all right so let's be still all right so I'm upside down too. So let me flip it. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you, show you how quick. I did five shirts and every one of them in a sale that I did took me 15 minutes each to do. And so just think about that. If you're doing them for shows, and thinking about something really quick that you can make happen. Let's come up here. All right. This is try to get 50-50 or some kind of blend in your shirt fabric. Then they wash and dry beautiful with our paint. And I'm looking for my paints. Okay. So one of the things I have is my double loader. And you dampen this. You put this in here. This is a lid. And you have a lid for the medium. And this is a double loader. So... I teach you how to use these so that you have no problem with loading. And that's all on practice strokes. So go check that out. Um, already got those brushes. Can't wait to play around with them. Well, go watch my demo. So then that's going to help you know how to play with them better. Okay. Um, oh, I just realized my pink. I want to show you that this is fabric paint that's on the website. And what that will do is make your fabric be really super soft when you get through painting and it washes and dries wonderful. So that's what it looks like is fabric creations. And um, you don't need a lot of different colors to make this work. Oops. Oops. I forgot to get out the black. All right. So. Oh, great. <laughs> I didn't punch the hole here. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze some of that out. And there we go. So we're going to stencil our design on first. Okay. So there we go. All right. So you can use any color and you can use metallics because we have metallics in them too. All right. So I decided where I'm going to put the uh, Eiffel Tower. Now, any of the stencils are going to be the same way. You're going to take um, the paper towel. And it's going to be right here for you so that you can pick up dry. This is dry. I'm picking it up. I'm working it in. All right. And then I'm going to work some of it off. And then I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to hold the stencil down. And when it's a little area, I can tap it. Okay. So you look at it and see if it's working. All right. Oh, it's not backwards now. Okay, it needs to be backwards. <laughs> For me, backwards. So you see it. Sorry. There you go. Thank you. It changes from <laughs> one position to the other. So it makes me a little crazy. All right, look, I'm going to go back and forth when there's a long section like that. And I can put my finger there or I can take and put some tape if I don't, if I'm doing like, when I did shirts for shows, I did six at a time. And what happens is I would say, for instance, I do stencil on all the shirts, put them on these forms like um, I have here. And then you take 
sit them all around you and I put them on chairs all leaning up. I flipped them out and got each one I needed as I needed it. And each color I go on now because it's fabric, I don't have to go and go on the paper towel usually. But if it's not, if, it, if it's on canvas or paper, you have to wipe this off each time onto your, your napkin. Okay. Like you just go here and wipe it off like I showed you in the beginning. But since we are on fabric, it sucks it up really good. Okay. See how easy this is? Now, how fast can you do an Eiffel Tower like this? The stencil makes it possible. And I had to have a stencil. So my assistant and I, we worked and worked on getting this stencil just like we wanted our Eiffel Tower. And then we have all, I drew the, um, the little stamp for the luggage and stuff and the words. So you can put any of those that you want. I can tell you I went over into this area right here. So I'm going to put flowers there so that it won't matter. But um, look how nice. Now you saw on the white shirt, if you watch this over, if you weren't on, you saw on the white shirt, I did a gray. So I just to the black with a little bit of white. All right. And on here, I, on this side, Oops, I'm going to be careful not to lay it there. I'm going to lay this there because that Eiffel Tower is still wet. All right, so I can literally put that scroll underneath so it doesn't go on here. And so we're going to make circles. Circle, circle, circle. All right. Now, a couple little things. Let me show you. I'm going to paint this but um, with some flour. But I want you to see, I think I am, I'm running out of time. Okay, so now look what happens here. You can do this. You can then pick up some white, work it in, and I can take some white across the top. See, just right across there and get a little highlight. Okay, just that fast. All right, so the other thing, I did put Paris underneath here. Okay, you just got to make sure you make it straight. Now, I do not usually do it all like this real fast. You can do the Eiffel Tower, let that dry, then come back, see, because then I'll get those marks underneath there. But, um, and then I can put the bumblebee or the moth or the insect or... Mason, Bill Mason, anyway, all these different ones. You've seen a bunch that I showed you. But now what happens is I'm going to show you with this fabric paint that a way that I come up with the um, painting, where are those brushes there? There you go. All right. So because I, I think I'm going to do blue because the pink's not going to show. Okay. So now look what happens. We are coming in here with this great soft paint, all right? And I can put a couple little pieces here because I I went over and right here, see? I'll just do some little clusters of, of that and a little one over here. Now, what's gonna happen that doesn't look too hard yet, does it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this in the water. And I am, um, uh, I was looking for some of the stuff I was going to use here. All right, so I'm going to put some blue. I've got my 12 now and my white. And I want you to see that I'm going to slip slap if you have the blue and the white. Okay. Slip, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap. All right, so you're getting the illusion of a hydrangea. Okay, and I can then put some paint. Oops, the thing about the paint is it strings like that, so you got to be careful. All right, so I can come right in here and put some pink, which needs the white with it. And put some pink over here. 
I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it will. Okay, and some weight. Okay, so we're going to put, while this is all wet, I'm just going to keep going in here. Okay, so I'm going to come back with, I scrolled out blue last, so there it is. All right, we ran out of blue. So if I pick up blue and I come here and side low some white, I'm going to come in here with just little strokes that look like flower petals. All right, so I keep coming in here. A little bit here, a little bit there. So the blue is standing out pretty good with all that other color, but also you can just come in here and stroke some white. So watch what I'm doing. I push and stand up, push and stand up all the way around. All right, so you're just getting an illusion of those flowers. But I pick up blue, pick up the corner of white. So see, I go right next to the white. All right. Do it again over here. All I have to do is a couple over here. Because this is just a little bit of a blossom. A trailing one even. All right. So. Now, one thing that helps, like if I was doing a rose, what I do is. I do um, a pink area. All right, let's do right here. Pink. All right. Love the convention packets. You are my hero. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so look at this. If you just got on, this is one of my stencils. I'm showing you a fabric painting with my stencil. The stenciling part goes super quick. And then you decide how much detail you want on it. But what I wanted you to see is that right now, if you put YT stencil on, um, what you do is you pick out stencils that you want on my onestroke.com. And then when you go to check out, they have a discount there. You put YT, because then we also know if it came from YouTube. Y2T stencil and you get 20% off anything, um, any stencils that you order. And I have all kinds of stencils. All right. So see how I'm putting the little rosebuds in here. All I do is I keep picking up white. Usually with acrylics, we're going between the two colors. And this one's what happens on the foam plate. They all run into each other. And then I tilted this. But then what happens is you ruin a bunch of the paint. Excuse me. So I tell you to use your double loader to um, get these paints out here ready so they don't run into each other. And then you they'll last you and they won't be all muddy by putting running into each other. How's that sound? Okay. So then I'm going to come over here. Let's get a bigger brush. All right. So... I've showed, please rewatch um, if you came in late because I have all kinds of special things I showed everybody, all kinds of goodies and different dis discounts and things that are really available. So please, if you get a chance to hit rewatch and see all of those fun items. We also have fabric paint medium. If you want to use my regular acrylics, that we sell and you want a color that we don't have here, you can just get the textile medium on my site and do that too. So there's a leaf. Now, what happens, I want you to see if I come right here and I'm going to just put in that solid paint and kind of in the shape of a leaf, okay? Are you having fun yet? Did you learn anything yet? <laughs> All right. So look, we're going to come right around, and I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to leave in just a second, and please check out, put the discount in, get um, 
a deal on trying my stencils, saving your time, getting ready for the shows and the holidays. And I make it quick and easy for you. Those clothesline will sell so fast at, at the shows, but you can personalize them. Like I always personalize everything at the show and I would have lines of people waiting. So think about this. You can also put them on mailboxes and other things that I did all during the, the season. All right. And there you go. Hope you like it. Sign it. You can put dots in the center of the flowers if you want. But and see, I'm really loose here. I'm going to do curly cues and stuff and I'll try to post it so you see. But I've got that same shirt on. Let me show you the one I just painted. You can also, I pound those with Q-tips so that you, a bundle of Q-tips and you get more detail. There is the shirt I just finished earlier. And I want you to see that I am, see I put, it's so soft, you're going to love it. I did gray on the white and then I put some glitter on the dragonfly, but see these little spots? I'm going to come back and put a few little details on there, but I want you to see it. I hope whew, I'm out of breath. I hope you enjoyed it and check out the different stencil brushes too. So you can have everything you need to get started, even the fabric paint if you want to try some fabric. All right. Making um, totes uh, for the shows worked really good for us too, because the totes are great gifts. And that's all I'm going to say for now. I will see you next time. Be looking. Oh, please subscribe. If you subscribe, then you will get notified anytime I've got a special on for you. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.